Good evening. I'm Erin Burnett. Out front tonight, Trump trying to make a joke of Bob Mueller. The president's top two attorneys, Jay Sekulow and Rudy Giuliani, taking three hours out of their day not to work on the very serious Mueller investigation itself, an investigation, let's remember, that Giuliani has explicitly said he fears could lead to possible impeachment proceedings against the president of the United States. No, taking three hours to guest host a radio show, and to be specific, I'm talking about Sean Hannity of Fox News' radio show. Hey, welcome to the Sean Hannity Show. Jay Sekulow and Mayor Rudy Giuliani. How about that? Giuliani and Sekulow. Isn't that City? nice? That is. Hmm. We could start all kinds of speculation. Sure, speculation that the president's lawyers are trying out to become the next famous duo, like an Abbott and Costello or a Click and Clack or Key and Peel. Well, listen to yourself for yourself to some of the questions that Rudy and Jay decided to take from callers. Speaking in regards to Hillary Clinton, we have proof for that. And why are we not pursuing that? Why is not AG Sessions pursuing those criminal acts. You got a little That's rain going on there, there, Peter. Sounds like either I'm a drummer. You, you're either keeping a really steady beat, or you're you got, or or you get right, or a click, or or you're you got your wipers on. It's one of the two. I suspect it's your wipers. I just gotta know that after after this is over, uh, that you guys are really gonna drop the hammer on some of these people. I mean, Comey, uh, uh, Mueller, um, all these other people. Well, look, I mean, I, I have some experience with the. Uh, a government officials that have not done appropriate conduct. They should be looking and investigating and charging Barack Obama with abuse of power. Well, what do you think, Rudy? I don't want to jump that I think, far. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think you could. I, don't I think would. Charge, I would agree yeah. with you. It is crying out for an investigation. Crying out for an investigation. Happy to entertain all those sorts of questions, right? And even when Rudy and Jay were talking about something that was germane, like their negotiations with Bob Mueller about an interview with the president of the United States in the Russia investigation, there was sort of a similar sideshow that kept going on. We're not going to tell you what we have said, even though Rudy wanted to the other day. <laughs> our reporter, I was afraid to get mad at me joking and teasing about their letter to the special counsel with their negotiation points about an interview with the president of the United States. We're not going to tell you his playground talk, which is much like the president's cryptic tweet yesterday, a quote, stay tuned cliffhanger. Remember how at the end he said, stay tuned. Today's performance was classic Trump reality show circus. And that is something Rudy Giuliani has been happy to perform in with Trump for decades. Here's the Trump Rudy Giuliani duo hamming it up as they break ground on Trump's international hotel and tower back in 1995, posing with the jackhammers for the cameras. See? And then there's this, this unforgettable skit that they did in the year 2000. You know, you're really beautiful. And a woman that looks like that has to have her own special scent. Oh, thank you. Maybe, maybe you could tell me what you think of this scent. Just to be clear, that was Rudy Giuliani. Both men also attempting to make folks laugh, hosting Saturday Night Live. But this is not a joke. Mueller's investigation has charged 32 individuals and three companies. 26 of them are Russian. Caitlin Collins is out front live in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey, where the president, of course, is on his working vacation. And Caitlin, we've long heard an echo between the president uh, and his lawyers and Fox News. But now, literally, we're talking about fill-in guest hosts. That's right, Aaron. You're seeing just how close that relationship has become. And it's incredibly unusual to see the president's legal team host a show like this of a partisan host on a news channel. Uh, but that is exactly what we're seeing play out. But Aaron, also what we witnessed today is just how much Rudy Giuliani and Jay Sekulow are not only doing the president's legal work when it comes to the Russia investigation, they are also handling the PR for all of this. They are making a lot of the arguments that we've heard President Trump make. Rudy Giuliani had dinner with President Trump last night, and you heard him run through the list of things that the president has said, not only about the special counsel's investigation, but also about Jeff Sessions and Hillary Clinton and the like. That is what we heard today. But of course, Aaron, you see those other events today that really show just what Rudy Giuliani is doing here and trying to make this public case for the president and why they think this investigation is a witch hunt. And Rudy Giuliani saying uh, this week that he believes this investigation should be brought to an end by September 1st. 
But the special counsel Robert Mueller really threw a wrench in that today when they subpoenaed someone to testify on September the 7th. Someone who was going to testify on the 7th, they said that milt that aide that helped Roger Stone get into, in touch with WikiLeaks. And it really just goes to show how it is Rudy Giuliani really trying to set the tone here for the White House while the special counsel is not saying much, but through their actions are responding on their own to Rudy Giuliani. All right, Caitlin, thank you very much. Their actions, of course, showing they are the ones who control the timetable here. Uh, and in fact, they do. Out front now, Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal, who sits on the Armed Services and Judiciary Committees and also uh, going to be joining us, Frank Bruni, New York Times columnist, and Harry Sandick, former assistant U.S. attorney for the Southern District here in New York. Senator, okay. As ridiculous as it was, uh, whether you see it as offensively ridiculous or hilariously ridiculous is, is almost not even the point. The Trump team has said this whole thing is really about public relations. So then they do three hours of filling in for Sean Hannity with the Trump base. Is this actually going to help them? Could they win in the court of a public opinion by doing what they did today? They may win with their base. I doubt they are scoring very many points in the broader court of public opinion. What they are succeeding in doing bit by bit, point by point, joke by joke, is trying to discredit yeah. Bob Mueller and drag down the investigation. And I've seen this tactic before as a prosecutor where there's no defense, so a defense attorney tries to make a joke out of it. It's not really serious, didn't hurt anyone. Tries to belittle it. And belittles it. And it's part of a coordinated and concerted attack on the special counsel involving members of Congress who have launched the same kind of demeaning and dismissive attack. So it's coming from a lot of different sources. So, you know, again, th there was some serious discussion today, uh, you know, about the interview itself, whether it's going to happen, what's the state of negotiations. Uh, Jay Sekulow was asked about it. Here's what he said. I think the Constitution's clear that there's not a right to interview the president under Article 2. I think the Supreme Court would come to that conclusion. I think it also raises serious issues, not just for this president, but for future presidencies, and especially, Rudy, with the nature and scope of the cooperation that this White House has given to the investigators. It's, it's unprecedented. No right to interview the pres president, and uh, size and scope of the cooperation this White House has given is unprecedented. It, it has been unprecedented in how little in how there little. has been. Even though they say, what, tens of thousands of pages of documents and the numbers they throw out. Well, uh, cooperation has to be measured in the sense of respect for the investigation, calling it a witch hunt and a hoax. Again, belittling it certainly is not cooperation. But here's the more serious point. The president of the United States is not above the law. He has no free pass to avoid investigations. <clears throat> Brett Kavanaugh has raised the question of whether, in fact, the president should be subpoenaed. But the United States versus Nixon case, unanimously decided by the Supreme Court, said, in effect, the president is not above the law. He can be subpoenaed. And that subpoena will be upheld, Jay Sekulow notwithstanding. I mean, it'll be amazing to see if that comes to a test. I mean, Harry, you know, when, when you hear all this, yep. you know, again, let's go back to this, you know, when they say hoax and witch hunt, mm -hmm. which, by the way, they, they, they said that today, right? Yep. That's just part of the course yep. at this point. 32 individuals have been charged, uh, 26 of them Russian, 6 of them American. Um, th this investigation has been far from a hoax, if you look at it from any measurable Absolutely. deliverable. Absolutely right. And in fact, we see now, even as the Manafort trial of the president's former campaign manager proceeds towards the end of the government's case and then towards defense case and verdict, we see parallel to it the investigators continuing to look at Roger Stone, subpoenaing uh, one of his close associates today. Another of his associates has been subpoenaed and has said that he'd rather take contempt than testify, and that's going to now be appealed from a district judge to an appeals judge. So even while He's working on the trial, Mueller team. The Mueller team's also pursuing all these other leads. It's far from a witch hunt. There are many open leads of investigation. And yet you have the top two attorneys. Now, we do have the Raskin couple who are working on this, and maybe they're the ones doing all the work. But the top attorneys that the president <laughs> sees, that we all see, this is how they spent three hours of their day. Well, because this Joking is Joking around, talking about Obama being yeah. uh, or Hillary, whatever it was, right. right? Well, as you mentioned earlier, this is a public relations campaign. I mean, Rudy Giuliani is not doing much lawyering at all. He's doing a lot of spokesman duties. Yes. And he is out there day after day, hour after hour, 
with the most jocular manner possible, because he's trying to say what we have nothing to worry about here. But this last week has been fascinating, because the way you knew that Mueller's investigation would not wrap up nor findings be announced by September 1st was the moment Rudy Giuliani said that must be the deadline. He was setting up something fake that could not possibly be met so that they have a yeah. new club to bang Mueller with. You know, the same deal goes with the questions they said he won't answer. They're exactly the questions that Mueller would want to ask him. So they're sort of setting these tests, these deadlines, sort of, et cetera. Why did you fire Jim Comey? Setting, it doesn't get more basic than right, that. They want to take Mel that off the they're table. They're setting yeah. Mueller up to fail their ridiculous tests so they can say, see, witch hunt, and continue the refrain.